Well, today I'm up in the Great Smoky Mountains, and for about the last month I've been testing out a new 4G cellular trail camera from Camo Jojo. I'm recording al fresco today, so you might hear a few stray noises, so uh, that's just the nature of when you're out in the fresh air. I've been using the uh, Camo Jojo Trace 4G cell phone trail camera. It's really kind of interesting. First thing you notice is it's got kind of a different design, kind of a, a minimalist looking design, real simple looking and uh, it has a sort of a uh, texturized bark finish on it and it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of glare and uh, bling to it so it blends more in in more with the trees and the uh, cellular antenna is kind of unique it's just a flat panel and it's not as uh, obvious as the uh, sometimes you see them with two antennas sticking straight up and the, the camera is really well built and solid it's got uh, two tripod mounts and it's got a place for a cable and a lock and of course a strap around a tree and it's also got a place to, a place to put a little padlock on the door so the interesting thing about the uh, most of the trail cameras is they're fairly simple to operate because you're going to do most of your operation through your uh, cell phone interface now you see they put a little matte uh, blended in greenish finish on the uh, PIR sensor to make it less reflective I think there's 42 uh, IR lights here. Uh, pretty powerful, gives, really illuminates at a pretty good distance at night. They put a more of a uh, non-reflective coating on here. A lot of times when I'm doing a uh, review with trail cameras, the, the uh, cover on the IR lights is almost like a mirror. So we open it up inside and it's really pretty simple. Uh, it comes with an included AT&T SIM card and it works on the AT&T network. You can select which, uh, you know, which price plan you want. It's got a uh, on-off switch and then three status switches. The interesting thing about this one is it doesn't use a re removable uh, SD or micro SD card. It uses uh, memory that's uh, you know on the motherboard. So it's got a uh, memory included with it, 32 gigabytes. And that actually makes it read and write faster than from the typical uh, SD card. Now you may or may not like that, uh, but uh, you know the idea here is that you're gonna be downloading images and uh, video onto your cell phone from a distance or you can also you know connect through a USB cable direct to your computer and download files from the uh, camera to your computer and there's a reset button here to set everything back to factory specs and a format button to reformat onboard memory it's real easy to set this up with your cell phone you download the Camo Jojo app and then you simply scan this uh, QR code with your phone and then it uh, syncs up with the network and when you first get the camera it's the first seven days of unlimited data are free to practice with and it connected to me it was just you know like like most of the cameras now real simple to set up had it up and going in a matter of a few minutes and uh, receiving data and then you can go in and I'll talk about later how you can interact with it on the uh, cell phone app it uses 12 batteries which is kind of nice because it's, uh, you know, it gets really good battery life. I've tested it out with just the batteries. It comes with the uh, available uh, solar power unit, and I'll talk about that later. But with the 12 batteries in here, I've taken oh, almost 600 videos. Still only used about 50 or 60 percent of the battery capacity. And of course, really, you want to use the solar with this, but I was just testing out the battery uh, capacity as a backup, and it worked fine. You can see the quality is really good. It really feels substantial. See good rubber seals around the door. And it just has a nice uh, quality feel to it. The uh, brackets and everything are uh, solid. This is where the uh, solar power panel goes into. Right here. The USB port here is for transferring data back and forth from the camera to your computer if uh, you want to take your computer out in the field but you know mostly most of the time it's pretty easy to transfer the data to your phone you can review all the data that's on your phone and pick and choose what you really want to download and, and you can download it also in high definition the other thing that i really like about the camo jojo uh, trail camera is it has really good sound and to me sound is important and here's the microphone uh, port right here And I was really impressed with the sound quality of this. And you can, of course, have this has live view, so you can actually, uh, you know, go with through your phone, actually see a live view of what's going on in the camera, wherever it is, as long as you have cell signal. 
and you can hear live audio with the view. So that is uh, that's kind of cool. It works well. The camera comes with this bracket that can be added to it to give you more flexibility in mounting. And you can either mount this directly to a tree with the camera, or you can add this bracket and mount this to a tree, and then uh, adjust it with this uh, over here. And uh, you know the bracket and the mounting is uh, pretty solid. And in most cases, you're probably going to be mounting this to a tree or some sort of surface. I've tested a lot of trail cameras over the years, and most recently I've been testing out uh, 4G uh, trail cameras quite a bit. And what's remarkable about this uh, well-built camera is that the price point now is down around $100. I think that this one it was on sale the other day uh, for just right around $100 uh, on Amazon. And that's, you know, with free delivery, and that's with the 4G. It included SIM card and uh, you know really a quality construction at a hundred dollars it just kind of blows my mind and it works uh, really uh, easily and flawlessly now of course when you're using a 4g cell camera the whole idea is the ability to use it in a remote location and you have to have cell service and it'll take uh, you know videos and stills whether you have cell service or not and save them on the uh, onboard uh, storage which you can download later so this can even function, you know, without, if the cell service is out, it'll still continue to take uh, images and uh, video, but that's, that kind of defeats the whole purpose. Obviously, you have to buy a, uh, you know, a 4G cell plan that goes with it. And this one comes uh, with the uh, pre-installed AT&T SIM card and some really good uh, selections of plans uh, that you can get. How much live view you want to use, how many, how much, uh, you know, what definition that your uh, video you're going to record at and download at. Of course, you know, when you talk about uh, 4G trail cameras, you talk about bandwidth, and then that equates to uh, using the network and, and, use, and equates to how much you're going to pay for it. So, you know, you can run these uh, pretty cheaply if you're just going to take photographs and just check it once a day or something like that. Or the other thing that's really cool about this is you can get an instant live view and get instant notification you know, if you put it into what they call boost mode and you know find out if something's triggered like right away and you can look at it live and you can even you know order an hd uh, download and really i found the uh, video and uh, picture quality to be you know quite exceptional for a trail you know for a 4g trail camera you know it's not like a uh, camera that i would use to record wildlife and vid videos that are one or two minutes long in a 4k video that has a different purpose this purpose is for you know, monitoring wildlife or or security purposes. Actually, what I use this, I leave uh, a couple of 4G cameras up in the mountains to watch over my area up here when I'm not here, and I can, uh, you know, look at it any time and see what's going on. So to see this kind of a camera at a price point of $100 is uh, pretty amazing. Now we'll talk about Camo Jojo Double Solar Power Pack that come, that you can order with this. And this um, solar power unit uh, is actually somewhere in the vicinity of. 80 to 90 dollars on Amazon sometimes. What's really remarkable about this is how well built and solid this is. You, uh, it opens up into a double unit like this and what's nice is it has a texturized sort of uh, non-glossy surface it's very much different than most uh, uh, solar powered units that might be reflective and it's really heavy duty and the nice thing about this is it charges. When you first get it, you want to charge it for about, oh, five or six hours to, you know, fully charge it here with the 5.5 uh, volt in USB-C. And here's the power with your, with your uh, power status lights. But the other thing that's uh, nice about this is it's not only going to power your trail camera, but it can also charge your cell phone or charge any number of other things. And it has both a 5.5 uh, volt USB output which can be used you know that's what you use for the camera with an adapter that comes with it it's uh, right here is the cable and you can see there's a USB and an adapter and then this end goes into the camera what's also nice about this is that it has a 16 foot cable which is because you know generally speaking you don't want to put your solar power right next to the camera that kind of attracts attention so you could uh, put this up you know 12 15 feet high up in the tree really catching the sun run the cable down to the camera or you can run it uh, sometimes the camera has to be in a place where the camera might not get a lot of sun but if you have a 16 foot cable and the adjustable heavy duty bracket that comes with this you can get the solar panel somewhere where the solar panel will be out of the way of getting sun 
and feed the, in down into the camera. And what really impresses me about the solar panel is the uh, quality of construction. The way this works is you put the tripod mount here on the back and then that mounts to uh, this heavy duty mounting bracket which you can either use cables or you can use heavy duty screws to mount it into a tree or mount it into a building or something like that. And this is really uh, solid. In fact, because this is actually a fairly heavy, substantial uh, unit. This is a serious uh, solar package, so it has to be mounted fairly sturdily and attached uh, strongly. The other thing too is it has a 12 volt DC output. And some of the 4G trail cameras uh, require uh, you know, a 12 volt uh, DC output instead of a 5.5. So the other thing you want to do is uh, make sure that the output matches uh, the input of your camera. If you're using, an, an, if you're not using a Camo Jojo uh, camera, you know the endpoint on the cable is not universal. It fits the Camo Jojo uh, trail camera perfectly, and it may fit other trail cameras. But you'd have to, uh, you know, you have to verify that this would actually fit if you're going to buy this power unit for a different trail camera than the Camo Jojo Trace that is designed to go with it. So you just turn on the camera, and I've already installed the software on the, uh, you know, the app on the phone, and already have everything working. I've been using it for about a month. So you just activate it, and you get, uh, you know, th three green lights, and you're good to go. And then I'll just uh, actually close this up, and I'll set it over on the balcony, and then I'll turn on the app. So you open the Camo Jojo Trail Camera app, and I've already got my one camera. Attached if you wanted to add more cameras you would hit the plus button and go through the process of scanning the QR code and registering Each of the different uh, cameras and the uh, sim cards in this case. I just have the one camera and you click on that and there you see my uh, Camera So you have to be in boost mode and have the appropriate uh, Plan in place to go live anytime you want and also along with live you get instant alert. So you just hit live Now remember you're going out over the cell network and you're connecting to your camera and then you're going to connect uh, live to it so it's going to take you know a few seconds that's actually pretty amazing when you think about what you're doing here and there you go there's the live view of the camera that i just set over on the uh, rail there and you can see we're up high in the mountains and you can actually you know take photos live or videos live and so if you have it set to uh, immediate alert, you would, uh, if you have like animal or human activity or some kind of activity around something that you're monitoring, you would immediately get alerted and you could choose to go into the live mode. Of course, that's going to use up, you know, more of your plan and cost a little bit more. And you can easily review all of your uh, videos and photos that you've triggered. And you can just pick one to look at and play it. It's stored on the network but it's also stored on the onboard storage on your camera and you can get the HD off of your camera if you want to but obviously the whole beauty of having a 4G network and using your phone is you can just simply request the default is a uh, you know a low low uh, resolution video so you can see what's going on but you can also request a uh, HD version of the video confirm that and it'll be delivered to your archive and when you go to the archive you can click on HD and you'll see where all the HD requests so these are some videos that I requested in HD I used this app and the camera for about a month now really remarkably uh, reliable and works well and I'll go through the uh, setup menus uh, later the other thing too is when you, it has a whole bunch of options for sorting your uh, archives you can sort it by resolution or type the uh, camera system also you know, accurately maps the location of the camera via GPS on a map and you can, if you're running like a, a, lot, a number of cameras, you can have them all on a map and you can uh, check them. It also uh, produces a lot of statistics, which I didn't really look into, but you can have some fun with it. Uh, and you can see here that, uh, actually I've made, oh gosh, almost uh, 600 videos since I've been testing this out. And they're all 10 second videos. I mean, there's a reason it's a, a 4G uh, cellular camera, so, you know, time is money. So 
the video clips are uh, set at uh, 10 seconds long. The quality of the video is really quite good for a 4G cellular trail camera. And you can go back and uh, turn off the HD and you'll get all the videos. And I did a lot of triggering of myself. <laughs> so, uh, and it also has a, a lot of selections on how you want to sort your archive. And I didn't really look into that, but if you're gonna, if you end up with like, you know, thousands of pictures, you might want to sort through it by day or night and uh, temperature, moon phase, barometric pressure you can set, uh, the media type, and of course you can select your whichever camera you have if you're running more than one cameras. And then you control the camera through the uh, app. And I'll go through the app just a little bit here in, the, in more detail. You adjust the camera parameters with the app on your phone. You can set a camera name, and if you have multiple cameras, you can assign them a group. There's also a working mode, auto, eco, and boost, with eco being the cheapest mode and boost being the best mode. The boost is the best mode to get immediate alerts and to go live immediately. And you can pick uh, pictures, video, or pictures and video. And the send frequency, and if you want to do it in real time, of course, that's the best. Uh, other camera settings are the image size, which uh, 5 megapixel is the best setting. You can do a number of uh, multi-shots. And the video size can be either 1080p or 720. The PIR sensitivity is really important. I always have that set at high and it's pretty impressive. At maximum PIR sensitivity, the camera is actually triggering on a small mouse. And of course, anytime you have a mouse around a food source, you're going to attract the cat. The trigger speed with the Trace camera is 0.2 seconds, and I found the trigger speed to be really exceptional. You can set the PIR delay, or the time interval between uh, subsequent videos, down to as low as 5 seconds. So that means you have a 10 second video then a five second uh, delay or reset period followed by another 10 second period. You can set it up so you don't miss much of the action. You can set your flash power and I found the automatic exposure at night to be really good. A lot of times you get overexposure if uh, objects get too close or you get underexposure if they're too far away. And I found that the auto exposure worked pretty well with this system at night. You can select your battery type, and like most trail cameras, you can't use rechargeable batteries. But then again, you want to really be relying on your solar power unit anyway. It does have the option to do time lapse. A comprehensive status screen when you go to your app. It gives your remaining battery, your cell phone signal, and what mode you're in. In this case, I'm in boost mode, and I'm using a premium plan temporarily. You can look at the map. Uh, the album and uh, some detailed statistics. Also in a, like a spreadsheet manner, uh, decide how you want to parse out your uh, archives if you want to you know, isolate certain areas to look at. And you can look at the uh, various data plans available there from your app and decide which one works best. They've got a pretty good selection of plans. And again, it really depends on how much uh, you want to get uh, data from your phone, You know how fast you want to get it and uh, how often you want to get it. So to summarize, I had a lot of fun testing out the Camo Jojo Trace 4G cellular camera. Uh, it's very well built, very solid, very robust, very reliable. Uh, the app works really well. I really like the design. It really looks good on a tree. It uh, blends in. Cell signal is really good. It comes with an included uh, AT&T SIM card and it comes with onboard 32 gigabyte uh, storage. And because of that, it really seems to download uh, and uh, really fast to your phone. Uh, I think that's a little, you know, having the onboard storage, and just my impression is a little bit faster than uh, using an SD card. Now, in some cases, though, you might want a, something that has an SD card. But again, the way this is designed for me is that uh, I want to look at something from a remote location. I don't want to fiddle with SD cards. I want to see what's going on in my phone now, and I want to, you know, see and uh, be able to... Uh, request high definition uh, video right down to my phone. The other thing that's impressive is the Camo Jojo double uh, solar power unit. This is really well made and actually both of these products are pretty solid and at the price points that I mentioned, I mean we're talking about around $100 for the camera, around 
eighty dollars for the uh, double heavy duty solar power unit, and to have all this for a, a price point of under two hundred dollars is uh, <laughs> with a 4G live view camera is pretty amazing. And again, I'll uh, show you lots of examples. I'm sorry, I covered up Mr. <laughs> covered up Mr. Possum there. This this uh, this system is uh, Possum approved.